Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And we have an interesting box in front of us. You can see right across the top and of course by the title of the video. We have a New Balance Aimé Leon d'Or collaboration. This has been pretty common. They've done a lot of New Balances so far. And this is a 650. You can see the silhouette printed on the side of the box. Flipping it around, New Balance Aimé Leon d'Or. 650R men's size 13 and the colorway is just a simple gray gray the retail price is not on the box these are usually 165 US but Amy Leandor for domestic shipping charges $12 so it's 177 total and this particular pair was actually part of a early access raffle I got along with the blue pair there was also a public raffle which happened on October 10th 2022 and retail was 165 US and this is what we are looking at today. So we have a extra pair of laces on this shoe right here, which is the right, and it is a dark charcoal style gray. And on the left, you have a cream style lace, both in that Aimee Leondor New York bag. And if you did not see my other review on these, I did post one a little bit ago for a blue pair like this that came out, and there was also a green. I will throw a photo up there. If you wanna watch the review on the blue pair, I will leave a card at the end of the video or a little banner up here. You can click on that whenever you watch it and you can go check that video out. So this has a kind of vintage vibe to it. It's got that midsole that's kind of a off whitish, um, just supposed to look like it's aged. You have the same color stitching on the late on the uh, midsole stitching, which is like a cream. And there is your outsole, which is pretty wild for the 650. It's got a lot of different patterns that go in different directions i think it looks pretty crazy almost like retro but like futuristic it's kind of weird you have the non-marking sole right there pretty good traction for these the overall leather on here is a good quality i think is a solid seven or eight i've always been happy with the quality from amy leondor but as of recently in the last couple of years with their clothing sometimes their new balance collaborations and other collaborations will be made in different areas so when you shop there make sure you ch check down below if you want the better quality look for made in canada other stuff will say made in China. And overall, it's a solid New Balance. Gray going across the upper, 650 here, all leather, and you have a cracked kind of tannish cream leather going here. You do have a double overlay of the leather with a cream lining under that gray. There is a little bit more of this, I don't know how to say it, like almost like a stone uh, taupe. I don't even know if that's the right name, but it's kind of like a tannish brown muted color. You have the gray New Balance written on right there. And this material you're staring at in this cream is like a knitted fabric. Also goes along the toe box over here. Nice to the touch. Feels soft. It's pretty good. It's almost like the um, straps you would have on a quality backpack, the underside of the strap. It's nice to the touch and it has some good cushioning. You have the New Balance logo on the back in that kind of like, I guess, stone color. There is your medial side in that charcoal gray, the cracked New Balance logo there, which is also leather, like I said. Medial and lateral have the same details. There's a little bit of a different kind of cut for the leather on the toe box. Gives it kind of a weird shape look on the toe cap, but I think it looks pretty cool. There is your tongue going up, which has a nice canvas backpack style material. And you have the Aimee Leon Dor 650 logo with the worm and the Apple basketball logo with the NB in the middle. Your lining is a nice cream lining. The laces you get are kind of like that stone color you'd see over here. It's a little bit different, but that's what they were aiming for. And then inside, you have a straight New Balance insole right there with the cream lining on the white base. And there is your cream all over the interior. So overall, it is a solid, solid pair in my opinion. I like the 650s. I like the 550s. Overall, I think they've always done a good job with these. In my opinion, though, I feel like they run true to size. If you have a wide foot, you might want to go up half a size. I remember I got a size 12 in the 650s, and they were just way too tight. The 13 fits good, so for me, I would stay true to size, but I have a more average to maybe I wouldn't say narrow. I say average with foot, but I have a high arch, kind of like a runner's foot. So for me, it depends on the shoe. Sometimes I have to go down half a size. These, I stay true to size. If you have a wide foot, you might want to go up. This is really hard to kind of describe, but at the same time, the 650s do have a regular New Balance model, so if you can find them in store, try them on, and then just buy this pair. They should run pretty similar. 
Other than that, I thank you guys for stopping by today. Let me know what you think of AMA Leon Door or the New Balance collaborations they've done. What's your favorite model? 650s, 550s, uh, colorway, whatever. I'll try to answer back to everybody. Get some conversation going in the comments. I thank you all for the support. I hope you stick around. I have some more new stuff coming shortly and some older stuff. And I have some different videos I'm going to start doing soon. So I hope you guys stick around. I hope you enjoy. And I hope to see you around. All right. Have a good day.